Hey guys, so my plan is is to make one of these, okay, really pretty placemat and you get the cutest little flower all the way around your cup, how cute is that, okay, so if you want to know how to do it, follow along, the tools you'll need, crochet hook, I'm using a 3.5 but you can use any size you like, a stitch marker, and a ball of yarn. Okay, so round one, we're going to chain three, and on that first chain you made, you're going to do seven single crochets into that. So we're going to go into that first one, going to pick up the yarn, pull it through, yarn over, and pull through all loops. So you have one loop on. And you're gonna do that the seven or oh, now six times. So two three four five six and Seven. And then you're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet you did. Just yarn over and then pull through everything together. And you should now have a little circle. Okay, round two. So chain one. And then you're going to put two single crochet in each stitch. So after the first single crochet, this is where I'm going to place my, my marker in. Just so I know where I am. And then I'm going to do another single crochet in the exact same stitch. I want two single crochets all the way around. And I'm at my last row where I'm going to take out a stitch marker and I'm just going to put a slip stitch in there for that. Now you should have it, a nice circle. Okay, so round three. Um, you're going to chain one and then you're going to do two single crochets in that first stitch. That's where I'm going to add my stitch marker, my second in the same stitch, and then one single crochet in the next, two single crochet in the next, one single crochet in the next and you want to repeat that pattern all the way around
try not to get caught up with your <laughs> stitch marker like I am. And that's my last one there. <laughs> Ignoring my stitch marker who's So I'm gonna pop my stitch marker out and I'm going to slip stitch into that first one to join the circle. Okay, so round four, you're going to chain one and then you're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. This is where you add your stitch marker back in. You're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch and then you're going to do two single crochet in the next. And then you're going to follow that pattern round. So one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet. This is where you want to come when you've come back to that stitch pop your stitch marker out and you're just going to do the exact same thing you're going to slip stitch into that round you should have quite a nice little circle coming on now okay so round five you're going to do the one chain and then you're going to do two single crochet in that first stitch that first stitch I'm just going to add my stitch marker and I'm going to add another one in there. So two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two and three. Two single crochet, one, two, three. Two single crochets, one, two, three and you're just going to repeat that pattern all the way around
So I'm back where my stitch marker is. So pop my stitch marker out and I'm going to slip stitch just as I've done before. Okay guys, so this will be round six. So one single crochet in the first stitch, adding your stitch marker in place. So one single crochet in the next two stitches. So that's three single crochets across. You're then gonna do two single crochets into the next stitch. And then one more single crocheting. So you're now going to repeat that. So one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, two single crochet in this one, one and two, and one single crochet. Repeat all the way around to get back to your stitch marker. Getting it in the hole <laughs> and not half. There we go. And I'm right back to the end where I'm just going to slip stitch in there. And that's for six. Okay. So if we've got to round six, this is as far as as the tutorial is going. You can continue this in as big or as small as you want. So this is where things change. You're going to chain three in this space. And you see, it's really difficult to see this, but you see this hole here at the bottom of your chain? You're going to yarn over and put your crochet hook through there. You're going to make a double crochet in there. Which technically means you've done two because your chain three counts as your first one. You're going to do another one in there. Like that. You're then going to chain one and you're going to do another three double crochets in that same hole. And what should end up is you should end up with a really cute little petal. This will be my second and that will be my third. There we go. It's a really cute little petal. See that? And what's going to happen now is you're going to slip stitch into three of these stitches. So don't put your crochet hook through here, put it into the next stitch and just slip stitch like you've been doing and into the next, just poke it in right into the next stitch and slip stitch across. 
try and make sure that when you're doing this, you're always doing the same amount. So you, you can change this up, you can have every four, every five, every two, you can only have every one between if you want a really thing. But make sure that it's even all the way around because otherwise you're going to end up with really wonky petals. So we're going to do this again. This time, instead of doing the chain three, we're just going to do three double crochets into that. So yarn over into that next stitch and just do a normal double crochet like you would. Chain that one. And you're going to do another three double crochet into that exact same hole. Make my second one. And that's my third one coming in now. There we go. So now you're going to slip stitch. One. Two and three helps to count inside outside so you can out loud so you can hear it and then we're gonna start again. Chain one at the end of that three, and three more in the exact same one. And that is your third petal. And I'll meet you back here when you're done. Okay, so as you can see, I've gone all the way around. I'm on that final, on that final, final three stitch in and all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my crochet hook into that first stitch I started with thing and I'm just going to do my slip stitch there and then I'm just going to grab my scissors and I'm going to give myself a longish tail so you can see that it's quite long and I just want to find another point quite close to where I am and pull all the way through so just pull the whole tail through the work and give it a bit of a tug you want that nice and tight I want your thing to come unraveled. And then all I tend to do is I just go to the back of my work and I find a good space to thing and pull it through. I just want to secure this tail so that if, if it does unravel from there, it's not going to ravel your piece back. Which I have happened very annoying. So just take it through, you don't have to take it through the whole piece. I know some people who are like, oh it must be 3 centimeters, 4 centimeters past your part point, I'm far too lazy to do that. Just take it back a few pieces, just so that you're, you're happy with it, you know it's not going to unravel. And here we go. I'm just going to pull this last one through. And all I'm going to do is I'm really happy that that's secure now. So I'm just going to cut that off as close to the end of my petal as I can. My tail of thread is left here. And literally, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to go under and I'm just going to pop it through. this tail thread is a little short I 
got a little annoyed with it in the first or second round and sort of snipped it off. Basically, you want to be able to have it secured enough that you're happy enough to snip it off and not have to worry about it. And there you go. One place mat. If I slightly bigger than that one but that's only because this yarn is is slightly thicker than this yarn there we go thanks for watching